Welcome back to News 13 this morning. And the death of George Floyd has sparked protests throughout the country. And the president blames Antifa for the damage and violence, referring, referring to them as a terrorist group. Our D.C. correspondent Basil John reports on lawmakers' thoughts on the president's statement. With protests throughout the country, President Trump is holding the anti-fascist group Antifa responsible and wants to officially designate them a terrorist organization. Their indiscriminate and violent destruction deprives lawful citizens of their, of their uh, you know, right to, to really get the, the issues addressed. Pennsylvania Representative Fred Keller says he doesn't want bad actors to distract from the message of the protests. In this case, there's some, some people that really need to be brought to brought to justice, and that's the, the police officers that were involved in this horrific uh, uh, incident with uh, Mr. Floyd. Meanwhile, some Democrats believe the president is distracting the American public from the real problem. The issue isn't what these protesters are doing or who's generating the, these protests so much. It is racism in America. 400 years later, we're still dealing with it. It's time to fix the problem. Representative Donald McEachin says the violence seen in Virginia is a result of racism reaching a breaking point. He says declaring Antifa a terrorist organization won't help the country. The best thing the president can do is go sit in the corner and be quiet because the things that he's doing is real, quite frankly, inflaming the situation. He's not helping anything. He's not healing anything. McEachin says Americans need to stay focused on the reason for the protests or else the country will stay divided and no progress will be made. In Washington, Basil John, News 13.